Hello! Today I shall show you a book discovered animal in art. Introduction. Look at these two pictures of hair. One is a photo and the other is a painting. The photo is interesting. But in the painting, the, the artist really helps us to look at the hair. The hair. We see its long claws, its fur, and its sweaters. Here, look at the picture. This is a painting, and this is the real picture. Wow. It looks the same. Yes, it looks the same. It's yeah. not real. Yes. What animals do we see in art? Where can we see animals in art? <clears throat> what are the oldest animal pictures? Now we can discover more about animals in art all around the world. 1. Animal shapes. Animals are different from people. Animals can't talk but they can do many other things. Some animals can run faster than people. Most birds and insects can fly. Cats can climb trees better than people. Here are drawing of a cat and a dog by an artist called Leonardo da Vinci. He was born in Florence, now in Italy. He wanted to show an animal's shape when it does different things. The dog is sitting. The cat is washing. Their shapes are interesting because they are different from ours. This painting is is by the Korean artist called Bin Bi Bian Sang Bai Ak. It shows two cat cats. The cats are not friends. Maybe they're going to fight. The artist shows this is this in their shapes. He used grey and black inks for the cats to show the fur. The fur is nice and soft. Many artists draw pictures of animals because the shapes are interesting and beautiful. Sometimes when artists paint animals, they first do as fast drawing, then later they look at their drawing and start the painting more slowly. 2. The oldest animal pictures. A long time ago, people lived in caves. They had no paper. They painted animals on the walls of the caves. In a cave in Spain, there is an amazing painting of a bison. This painting is about 15,000 years old. Now take a look at this bison in the, on the wall cave. A girl called Maria Sands their shelter discovered the cave paintings at, at Tamira in 1879. She was only nine years old. She was in the caves with her father. There are beautiful paintings of giraffes and other animals live some in, in some caves in Latvia. They are not as sold as the cave paintings in Spain, but they are interesting because they show changes in our world. When they did, people did these paintings about 8,000 years old ago. There were giraffes and trees in this part of Africa. Now it's a desert. In the Nazca desert in Peru, you can see amazing pictures of animals. But you have to be in a plane about 2,000 years ago. People do giant pictures um, on the ground. They do monkeys, birds, and spiders. Some of these pictures are biggest, bigger than the playground. Great. Three, wild animals. When artists play, paint a wild animal, they sometimes show the animal in its home. For example, they paint the animal in the jungle or in the mountains. In this painting, we see a stack and we also see its home in the mountains. This painting is realistic. This means that the stack looks like a real stack. It's almost like a photo. The painting is by a British artist called
called Edwin Lanson. He painted it in na, na, uh, 1851. In 1891, a French artist called Henry Brossel painted a picture of a tiger. The painting is called Tiger in a Tropical Storm. Surprise! The artist shows the tiger in its home in the jungle. Most of this painting is trees, more other plants and rain. We see a tiger and we also see the tiger's world. The tiger is surprised because there's a storm. storm. Do you think this is a realistic painting? This is um, um, a storm. A storm. <coughs> it's many for people and pets. It's uh, oh, it's look <laughs> scary. Not all animals in art are wild animals. Some of them are people's pets. Francisco de Goya was a Spanish artist. In about 1790, he painted a boy with his pets. The boy has a black and white birds on a piece of string. He also has some cats and they are watching the bird. Paintings of people like this painting are called portraits. Francisco de Goya painted a lot of portraits. This picture is by Japanese artist called Kobayashi Eitaku. How many pets are you see? Can you see? There is a dog and a rabbit, but it is a real rabbit? I can't say the rabbit. Ah, then snow rabbit. I thought it's a real rabbit. A long time ago in India, rich people like hunting with birds. In this painting, we see the emperor, Jahangir, and his pet falcon. They are going to hunt small animals. The artist used real gold to color some of emperor's clothes. Real gold? It can make a necklace. <laughs> oh no, I love it. Five animals outside. Can you see? It is a big spider. Ooh. In 2005, people in Ottawa. 2005. 2005. People in Ottawa, in Canada, saw a spider next to a museum. Was it a small spider, like a spider in a bathtub? No, it was very big. This spider was a sculpture by an American artist called Louis Borges. It was almost 10 meters high. Louis Borges was born in France in 1911. When she made this sculpture, she was more than 90 years old. There are other big sculptures of spider by Louis Borges in Spain, Rus Russia, and South Korea. Native American artists make a tall statues called totem poles. They put sculptures on birds and other animals on the poles. Totem poles are made of wood from very tall trees. The tallest totem pole in the world is in Alap Bay in Canada. It is about 56 meters tall. In Barcelona, Lona, in Spain, there is a big statue of a lizard. This is this a realistic statue? Not really. The when you see this lizard, they usually smile. It looks like a big toy. Sick. Animals in books. Do you like learning about animals? 
Today we can watch animals on television or look at photos of animals in book or on the internet. A long time ago, people before television or photos, people only looked at drawings of animals in books. There are often drawings of animals in children's books. It's in a book called Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. A girl called Alice meets a rabbit and lots of other animals. The drawings in this book are very nice, but they are not realistic because the animals are wearing clothes. A long time ago, there were artists who studied animals from all around the world. They wrote books about them and drew the pictures in books. One of these artists was John Adamon. He was born in 1785 and he lived in the USA. He drew lots of birds and other animals. John Adamon drew all the different types of birds in North America and he put the drawings in a book. This took 20 years. 7. Animal Symbols A long time ago, people used pictures of animals in writing and in ancient Egyptian writing. There are symbols of animals like birds and snakes. Sometimes the symbols mean the word of the animal. When they are next to another symbol, they can mean a different word. Animals are sometimes the symbols of Simple. symbols of countries. The tiger in sim is a symbol of South Korea and the rooster is a symbol of France. Sometimes you can see an animal symbol on a country's coins or sand. Does your country have an animal symbols? I don't know. If it is a chicken? <laughs> I don't know. In China, all the years have an animal symbol. There are 12 symbols. For example, the year of the rabbit was born in 1999 to 2000. The year of the sheep was born um, 2003 to 2004. These animal symbols can also mean different types of people. For example, people who are born in the year of the rabbit or kind. Do you think it's true? I'm born in um in a cat year and uh, I think so this Chinese sculpture of a sheep looks like a real sheep maybe the, the artist made this because people who are born in the year of a sheep are good at art I don't think so eight different animals Animals in art are not always realistic. Sometimes artists have a different ideas. An artist from Romania called Constantin Constantin Brand Cusi made this sculpture of a seal in 1924. It's not a realistic sculpture, but the artist used a stone called marble to show his idea of a seal. The marble is gray like a seal. It shines like a seal's fur when it's wet. The lines in, ma in the marble look like the water around the seal when it swims. The artist used hard, dry stone to show a soft, wet seal. A German paint painter called Franz Mark was interested in shapes and colors. In 1914, he painted a picture of an elephant and horse an elephant and horse and a cow. Their colors are not released. The elephant head is red and part of the horse is blue. 
there are like animals in the dream. Prince Mark made a nice colored painting with the shapes of three animals. Nine, teapots and toys. It's fun to look at sculptures or of animals in a museum, but usually you can't touch them. Sometimes artists make these these things like teapots or toys with animal shapes. They are all animals in art, but you can touch them. Here is a sculpture of zebra. You can touch it because it's a really a really teapot. It's a teapot in a shape of zebra. It's by an American artist called Christine Grillstone. She makes teapots in the shape of an other animals too. A long time ago, an artist made three little toys, a bird, a hedgehog, and a lion. All the toys had wheels. When young children play with toys, they often break them. The, the actors knew this, so these toys are strong. They are made of stone. The artists live in Susa, now in Iron. We don't know the artist's name. The bird doesn't have wheels now, but the toys look nice. <coughs> uh, they are about 3,000 years old, so they are some of the oldest toys in the world. 10. Dragons and Unicorns there are lots of stories and pictures of animals that own wheels, like dragons and unicorns. Sometimes they are more exciting than real animals. Dragons have long claws and their tails like a lizard's tail. This Japanese dragon is long and thin, like a snake. It's big and angry. Maybe the people are scared. A unicorn looks like a white horse. But it has a horn on its head. In this old French tapestry, two women with a unicorn. There are the other animal too. <coughs> the animal friend of the woman look like a monkey. What other animals can you see? Think about all the animals in this book. What's your favorite animals in art? It's over.